Hey everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 6. So, I was looking at my cities and changing their tile assignments a little bit. And I don't think we can grow a city to 10 population in the time to make it useful for civil service. But we can research feudalism first. Because we can definitely build 6 farms. So there's no reason not to get feudalism first. Just in case we do actually manage to get 10 population. I don't think we will. But again, there's no reason not to get feudalism first. Anyway, since we need farms, I think it might be a good idea to buy, like, this tile, for example. Yeah, let's grab that. Why the heck not? Here you go. And we'll send our builder here. And we might as well lock that tile already. Let's see. Yeah, probably grab one of these guys. We lost some production, but I want the city to grow. Yeah, let's move this guy, actually. Okay, sounds good to me. And we'll grab a farm. I think we need two more farms, if I'm not mistaken. We can grab one here, for example, that works. So, two more builds. That's one. And we'll get a farm here. I think that's the last one we need, although... We might still need one more after that. I suppose we'll see. Yep, we'll find out. Also, it looks like India is about to settle a city. It might not be a bad idea to buy the coastal tiles. Because I need them for polders. So you know what, let's grab them. Because I can use these two tiles for polders and I definitely want to. He might declare war on us. That wouldn't surprise me too much. Yeah, he started a city. So that was definitely the right decision. I'm glad I did that. It costed us quite a bit of gold, but it was worth it. So, more farms. Let's see, this one first. Is that enough? We need one more. Okay. We'll get one more then. Like this one right here. That looks reasonable. Yep, sounds good to me. And I suppose we should keep a garrison. Here you go. And this fella. Oh no, we already have an archer in there. Okay. So, let's grab that iron. Oh yeah, now I will have to wait to get more gold. But we can improve gypsum. I mean, there's no huge rush. I don't think anyone will steal that iron. There's no one anywhere close. It's extremely unlikely anyone will settle a city here. Not impossible, but very, very unlikely. Right, one more farm, and that's enough. Nice. So that gives us feudalism boost. Let's check tile assignments really quick. I do want the city to grow as much as possible. So yeah, that works. That will speed it up by three turns. Works for me. Yeah, let's go with that. We are getting decent growth now. Well, except in this one. But that's just the nature of the city, I guess. It's not really going to be much better. So this will do. We'll get a granary a little bit later, it's fine. The main purpose of this city was to get the iron. It will get more growth once we get the crabs, or something like that. And there's construction boost because Create we finish the, the water hearts. mill. Build with the mine. All right then. Oh wait, is Terracotta army still available? Well, I don't even have encampment yet, so I don't think we have a chance to build that. Even if it's still available, that's not going to happen. Anyway, what do we need next? I'm thinking industrial zone. Or a builder. But industrial zone would be nice. What would be the best spot? With the most mines in the future. Next to it, I mean. 
Well, we could build it here. So I assume there's going to be a mine here and here in the future, but that's only two mines. Honestly, it might be best to build it on that desert tile, because that way I won't have to buy anything. And there will still be one mine adjacent to it in the future, this one. So this seems reasonable. It won't be the best industrial zone of all times, but I think it's acceptable. I could also buy this tile for 100 and place it down here. That's also reasonable because we got a hill right here. But again, I would have to spend money for that. And I kind of need money to get the iron. I could also switch my policy to save a little bit of gold, but I don't want to. Yeah, I'd rather build it here. It's only one hammer difference. So let's go with that. And we could grab a builder to chop some forests. Maybe after we finish the harbor. And we can switch the policy. After we finish feudalism. That sounds reasonable. So let's queue up a builder right away. Here you go. And one more. Yeah, I'm thinking granary. Okay, yep, granary. Uh, wait, no. Maybe not. How do you even remove that? I don't want that in the queue. Here. It would give us plus two housing, I guess, but we are at six out of seven right now. Okay, fine. Let's get it for the housing, at least. And then library, probably. But I guess we can decide that later. Okay, sounds good. As for research... We could grab military engineering. I need to know where Niter is. I will not be waiting for an aqueduct. Because that would take too long. But I need to know where Niter is. It's a pretty important resource. And that will definitely affect some of our decisions. So, feudalism is almost done. Let's grab the gypsum. That will leave us with two more builds. I need to save one for the iron. We can use one for the sharks and one for the iron. That sounds reasonable. The sharks are already within our borders and it's a luxury. The penguins are just a bonus resource, not a luxury. One turn to finish the harbor. Nice one. And we should probably increase our trade route limit. He wants to trade. I might actually trade with him, but slightly differently. I kind of just want the gold, honestly. How much would he give us? He cannot accept that. 150? Yeah, he would accept that. That sounds reasonable. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. I need the gold. I will accept that deal. That's a decent one. Hopefully that means he's less likely to declare war on us. Because he's getting a luxury from me. And we got another boost. Nice one. With the advance of feudalism... So, there's feudalism, plus one error score. And we can change our policies. So now... Maybe it's time to get rid of urban planning. Possibly. I kind of need that slot, to be honest. I really do. I also need the gold, so I'd rather keep conscription. But let's say we'll get rid of that, and get served them instead. That's probably fine. Yeah, I think that's fine.
Okay, sure. No, I could get land surveyors temporarily. But I will be missing out on some science then. I don't really want to do it. It will save us some gold, but I'm giving up science in order to make that happen. So, I'm really not entirely convinced it's worth it. But okay, fine, let's grab that and see what the quickest policy we can research is. Or rather, civic. Yeah, that would be one of these. Military training or theology. Let's get theology because that will give us an envoy and there's no way I will be founding a religion. So we will never get that boosted. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Okay. We don't want to change anything else, right? No? Well, I mean, we already did. But why is there a notification here? Oh, because we could change the government for free? I don't want to do that. So, carry on. Now we need to go back. Uh, actually, no, we don't. We can grab the iron already. Right. I mean, obviously. And buy the tiles. So, let's buy the lake. That's 80. And then the iron, that's 120. Anything else we want to buy? We could buy... No, that's out of range. Just checking. I could buy the amber. Not a terrible idea. Especially since India might actually steal that. It's certainly a possibility. And we could also buy the copper. Okay, let's get the amber. I definitely want to secure that. And I guess we can't afford the copper anymore. That's fine. Okay, carry on then. About to get a population increase. In the two different cities. Some barbarians spawned somewhere. Good for them. So, two turns to finish the builder. And we'll use at least one charge to speed up this industrial zone. Sounds like a plan. Alright, let's go get the iron. Oh, there's the barbarian camp up here, okay. That might be a little bit hard to deal with. I might have to send another unit to deal with that. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. An archer will be better, I think. Okay, let's send an archer then. And what's next in here? Probably granary. Especially since our housing is capped now. So best if we focus on production. Almost done with the builder. And we should probably hook up the amber now that we bought it. That definitely makes sense. Alright then. Oh, yep, we got a scout incoming. That could be bad. Yeah, that could actually be kind of bad right now. Because he discovered our city. I might need more help than I'm just a single archer. Because he takes. And there's theology. I'm not buying any more tiles, so let's get rid of this. And then what? Well, good question. We could go back to plus one production in all cities. It's still useful. That's actually what I'm leaning towards, to be honest. Plus two gold from all trade routes would currently be just plus two gold, and that's it. So it's either plus one production or more research. Let's actually grab the research. I'm still a little bit behind and that's worth quite a lot of research. So, next civic is going to be civil service. Yeah, definitely. I'm not waiting to get 10 population, that will take way too long, as you can clearly see yourself. 
Seven Pop is our largest city. And it doesn't really have that many good growth tiles in range. This one has the biggest population potential, but it's still at 6. So it's just not happening in the near future. So now we could grab a lighthouse. Although there's no huge rush, it will give us plus 1 trade route capacity. That probably makes it worth it, but what I really want is an industrial zone. What would a good spot be? This one would be decent. Because we can get two mines, we can get three mines next to it. And it will already have plus two right now. And then we can get another plus three from adjacent mines. That definitely makes it worth it. Yeah, it has plus two because it's adjacent to river right now. That's our thing. Okay, yeah, this seems like the best spot for it, honestly. So let's grab that. 12 turns is not too bad. And this one, I'm thinking some units perhaps. Because I still expect India to maybe declare war on us at some point. Yeah, let's grab another Spearman. That won't take too long. As for the Envoy, well, we could get Cabal. Not super useful right now. Oh, we lost one city-state we had. Right, yeah, this one. Let's work on this one then. Okay, keep moving. So this might get rough. I need to wait for that archer. Hopefully they won't spawn too many units. Because that would be bad if they do. I can, however, upgrade this guy now. Wait, did I actually build that mine? No. Anyway, we can upgrade him. And that's exactly what we're going to do. That should be 80 gold? If I remember right, but it's been a while. I think it was 80 gold. Pretty sure it was less than 100. So, chop that. Yeah, that saved us a lot of time, actually. That was 100% worth it. Oh yeah, I should have moved Magnus. But a little bit too late now, I suppose. Yeah, too late. Okay, do we stay here or do we go east? I want to improve that Amber. I think it's best if we save this guy for that. Yep. So... Here. But now I need to go back into my territory. Let's just attack that scout, I suppose. Might as well. Always a little bit of experience. Here's a monitor. Okay, good to know. He's moving towards us. Oh, great. A swordsman. Well, that's not so good. I kind of want to move towards my city. But a swordsman could actually legitimately kill me right now. Yeah. I should have stayed back here. It's that stupid mountain that will make it a little bit annoying. Also, I'm actually thinking ancient walls right after the granary. The archer is coming, but he still needs a few turns to actually get there. What do you want? I'm not really interested in open borders. And they pillaged something, didn't they? Someone pillaged something, I heard it. Not the barbarians over here. Okay, well, fine. Whatever. He is coming in this direction. That's actually better for us. Okay, the archer is coming. It will just take a little bit of time. Let's keep moving. We'll probably want another builder at some point, but not right now. He wants open borders? No, I'm not giving you open borders. Forget about it. 
it's not happening. Okay, so upgrade time. Wait, why can I not upgrade him? That makes no sense. Oh, we didn't research the tech, did we? I thought I did. Oh, we actually did not. Well, that's slightly awkward. Let's queue it up after military engineering. I guess I need to move away. If he pillages it, I can just repair it. But yeah, I was convinced I already researched that, but apparently not. Well, it's fine. Glass. Oh great, another one. Yeah, this is going to be really annoying. Without mathematics. So now, do we have nitre anywhere? Let's take a look around. No, I guess not. Oh yeah, right here. We actually do! In range of Rotterdam. That is perfect. So, workshop next, because that was kind of the point. And... Yeah, this might get a little bit problematic here. Let's not move just yet, although... Let's move. He might decide to move towards our archer instead of pillaging the mine. And if he pillages the mine, I will shoot him. Now, not really interested in open borders with you. Yeah, okay, he moved towards us. That's a good thing. Although, now I need to stay here with the warrior. So let's fortify. And move the builder. I mean, if we lose the warrior, it's not really a big deal. It costs quite a lot of gold to upgrade all these guys. It can be better to just recruit new units. We still need a water mill in here. And a library. Yeah, let's grab that library. And let's keep working on that one city-state. We can get six. It's not super useful right now. But if I don't keep working on it, we will lose it. I'd rather make sure we will stay the suzerain at least in that one city-state. Why the heck can I not end my turn? Oh, there are two units stacked on top of each other. Makes sense. So, will he survive? He is fortified on top of a hill. So, maybe? Uh, yeah, he did! There's our own working. And That's civil service. For the federal government. So hold on, I think it's best if we upgrade right here and just take a shot at this dude. Oh seriously, we got two more swordsmen incoming, what the heck? That might be a bit of a problem, but alright. Military tactics next, to unlock the pikemen. And then guilds, obviously. I want my polders already. It's about time. Okay, next. I will feel safer once we get the pikemen. So, in a few turns. Okay, we got a promotion, good. Let's pick it up. And we can take a shot. We do have another guy incoming. But I guess it's free experience. Yeah, the other guy is moving towards the city. I am building city walls. So... We will be able to shoot him in a few turns. So first, we need that amber, but I will grab a farm on the way. It's food and also 0 0.5 housing. Let's remove all of that. Okay, we are still fine. So, I want to grab the promotion, but at the same time I want to attack this guy. Let's get the volley. That will make us do slightly more damage against him. Sounds good to me. So, anything else? How did Nobia get here with a unit? Well, I guess they did. I will not be waiting to build two markets. Absolutely 100% not. 
Nope, definitely not. And I guess we should just keep this guy around here. And wait for the polders. Things will get so much better for us once we get our polders. I'm really looking forward to that. That's like half the reason of playing Netherlands. Or more like 80%. So, grab the amber. There it is. And how's that tile now? Yeah, that is pretty good. Let's just keep it locked. This looks reasonable. Maybe one extra food. Well, no, the city will grow in two turns, regardless of how I assign that. Oh, he's actually moving towards my archer now, really? Sneaky bastard! Huh. Well then. That is not what I expected him to do. Okay, let's back up slightly. Unfortunately, I will not be able to attack from here. But I'm not letting my archer die. We can try to lure him towards us a little bit more. Yeah, just back up one more tile Strategy and we should be okay. Thought. We got military tactics. So let's back up like this. And then he will hopefully move towards us. City walls are almost done. So our city will be fine. We can grab the sharks. That makes it free food to production. Oh, and we could get machinery and recruit one more archer. That won't take long. Let's grab one in our capital real quick. Yeah, that's only three turns. Alright, and let's wait for the polders. And then we can get one more builder with serfdom. Once we finish guilds. That sounds reasonable. Uh, also, hold on. Governor. Right, all builders trained in the city will get plus one builder charge. So I should probably relocate her to Amsterdam. And then train a new builder in Amsterdam. That makes sense. Should have done that earlier. Right, let's just fortify to regain some health here. We got 433 gold. Okay, I will need some of that to purchase the coastal tiles. Like these two. Archer is almost done. And the city walls are done. That is quite a few units. We even got a crossbowman coming. While I don't have access to crossbowmen myself yet. There. Alright, let's heal up. We should probably move back into our territory. And what's next? Probably a district. Oh yeah, we could grab an aqueduct. That is actually not a terrible idea. It will remove the penguins, but I think it's worth it in this particular case. Well, I don't know. Maybe. We could grab a plus one theater square, but again, that would... No, that wouldn't involve removing penguins. We could get it here. We'll get plus one from adjacent natural wonder. I need a theater squared somewhere, I don't have a single one. Or we could go the standard route and just get a campus. I could even get a plus three campus, but that would involve buying a tile right now. A pretty damn expensive tile. Or as an alternative we could just get some unit. But that would take a while. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Or, finally, we could grab a harbor, but again, I would have to buy a tile. I just don't want to do that right now, because we'll need gold for other things. I'm thinking we should grab a unit. Like, even an archer. We can upgrade him later. I just don't want it to take too long. Yeah, let's just grab an archer. It's fine. Okay, sounds good to me. Next, we'll get that machinery boost on the next turn, and then we can get started on a builder. And we also got mercenaries boost. 
very nice. I think we should send him north, because it looks like we might actually need his help to get rid of the barbarian camp. And it's not like they have anything better to do right now. Although, once we get this guy, he probably won't be needing the help. So, builder. That will take how long? Yeah, actually, we should wait for the policy. So, let's get started on the workshop, because we'll need that anyway. We can just queue up a builder and move him up the queue. In like, three turns. And, so, industrial zone. There's a really nice spot for that right here. Plus five. And then we will still get two more in the future. But first, we should probably chop the forest. And use it for something. Like for a water mill. Maybe. Or we could get an encampment. Yeah, I'm actually thinking we should get an encampment. But then I would really have to buy a tile. Like this one. Or remove something that's already there. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, it really doesn't. We can get two more districts. So we could remove the forest to boost the district. Like a theater square. Interesting. So, hold on. We got the campus right here. If we build a theater square on this tile, we'll get plus two from the river. I won't be able to build a mine in here, but that's okay. Then we can build an industrial zone here. And all these districts will get additional plus one because they are next to each other. And then we can still build another mine here. To get plus one again for our industrial zone. I think that will be best. I like that idea. And we can chop the forest to speed up the theater square. That's perfect. Let's do exactly that. We got Magnus in here already, so that's fine. Let's get that done. Medieval era ends in four turns. So unfortunately, our golden age will be over soon. And we need to improve the nighter, but that's fine. We'll do that once we get our builder. I'm mostly waiting to switch the policies to get two extra charges. You need to heal up. And then we need to do something with our barbarian camp. I'm not quite sure where they are going. Clearly not towards our city for some reason. But alright. So I suppose we should move Liang by now. Probably, yeah. Okay, let's move her to Amsterdam. This is just temporary. Doesn't look like loyalty is going down, so... She can be in Amsterdam for now. So that way we'll get plus three builds. I'd imagine the whole or charges. World one big machine. Machines never come with any spare parts, you know. There's machinery, so they now we have access to crossbowmen and lumber mill. What's next? Let's take a look. Good question. Oh yeah, we could get stirrups. Definitely a good idea. Only five turns and it's already boosted. And then gunpowder. Especially since we know for a fact we got Niter. So that kind of makes sense. And we could maybe even go to war with someone. And time it with gunpowder. I would have to prepare a little bit better for that. But that would definitely be doable. That would be a really nice timing for us. Again, since we know for a fact we got Niter. And we will be improving it in the next few turns. That is a really good idea, I like it. Oh yeah, and the trade route? I think we'll just keep running this one. That's 12 gold! I can still put that gold to good use. Although, we could also get a road done. I wouldn't mind a road there. Maybe from Amsterdam? Yeah. 
it will be useful in the future. We could also get a road to our newest city. It would speed things up a little bit in the future. I like that idea. I think we should do that. Okay, let's do that then. So transfer to Amsterdam. And then chop the forest. Ten turns? Three turns! So we saved seven turns. And we would have removed that forest anyway, because this will be the spot for industrial zone. Uh, he wants to buy mercury. Yeah, we can sell that. Again. How much gold can we get? Let's say 180. Yep, he will accept that. More than that. Yeah. Okay. That's all of his gold. Will he also give us some gold per turn? He actually will. Interesting. That's a pretty damn good deal. I will absolutely accept that. We got 732 now. If we want to buy some tiles, we should probably switch to that policy. Because I will want to buy quite a few. Like, definitely this one, this one, this one. Possibly one of these. Mostly for a harbor, but also to get the sharks. Oh, and these. Like, yeah, we need to buy, like, six tiles. Definitely worth switching. So, you need to heal up, and then we'll head towards the barbarian camp. And I think we can switch to the builder now. We need three turns, if I remember right. Four turns. Okay, let's switch. I want him out ASAP. We just need to switch to the policy. So now we can send it to our city. Might be better to do it other way around, actually. Because plus one food and plus one production will not make a huge difference for Amsterdam. Yeah, that makes more sense, I suppose. Certainly. Okay, one build. That's going to be for the polders. Looking forward to those. Only two more turns. Oh, yeah. Did he declare war? Yep, he did. I mean, I'm not super surprised. But fortunately, I saved up money to upgrade my units. So now we can upgrade to pikemen instantly. That is definitely what I'm going to do. Oh, I need one iron. It got pillaged. Yeah, that's fine. We can get crossbowmen as well. Let's just move out of the city. Here. So that's fine. I don't think he's really going to be a problem. Oh, hold on. He's moving towards Amsterdam, really? Okay. Well, I mean... Sure. Oh, I think I know why, because I never really built city walls in here, because I didn't feel like I need them. Perhaps we should. Yeah, let's do that just in case. And we'll send the trade out. Yeah, plus two food, plus three production. That's much better. Okay, let's get that folder. Our first one. And now we can go for another trade. So he gave us his gold right before he declared war. That's a little bit bizarre. But hey, whatever flaws his boat. Yeah, that's going to be quite a bit of money. 400? Not quite that much. No? Okay, that's a little bit too much, apparently. Still a little bit too much. Here. Yeah, that's acceptable. Fine, accept. Here you go. Yeah, I don't think he stands a chance. But he seems to be focusing on Amsterdam. Okay. Yeah, whatever you say. You can't go around arresting. And we got guilds. Also, era change. So our current age is dark. And we can pick up one of these. Plus one era score each time we construct a new specialty district. Plus two era score, yeah, we won't be doing that. 
Plus free error score each time you discover a new content now. Plus one error score each time you successfully complete a trade route. That might be a little bit better than the first one. Although I don't really have that many trade routes right now. We are working on getting another one. But on the other hand, it's not like we'll be building that many new districts. So I think this one makes slightly more sense. Okay, let's start firing. They will probably pillage some of our improvements, but oh well. We got the pikemen. So let's move these guys west. And get our first polder. So there it is. Plus four error score from that. We got our first polder. Isn't it amazing? Let's work it right away. Uh, we are already working it. Okay, and our next research in civics. We can get the military training in literally one turn. And yes, I know we need to switch our policies. So hold on. Remove those. Uh, yeah, actually keep serve them. Are we still going to buy more tiles? Probably. Okay, let's get land surveyors and I could buy the tiles right now and then switch policies again on the next turn. Literally on the next turn. And I think we should grab a few units at this point. Probably a good plan, yeah. Sounds like it will be a good plan. We could try to pressure his cities. How about we get a catapult? Or rather a trebuchet. Okay, we can give it a shot. Upgrade, that's metal casting. Because we got enough crossbowmen now. And actually, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.